everybody. So today I'm going to do a video right here on camping in the United States of America during the coronavirus and what it's like living here because the prices are like super high. So we're doing a camping video real fast about camping equipment and it's really crazy. This is all my stuff right here. I have headphones and everything right here. And then um, this is the Ozark. Outdoor equipment, uh, blow up mattress. As you see, I would not recommend it. It it deflated in the middle of the night. It's really bad camping equipment. So please don't do not get it. Look at that. It just deflates. It's crazy. It's really crazy. This is the thing right here. Like in the middle of the night, it deflated. I'm like, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. So if you're thinking about camping, don't get the Ozark. Don't get it. Camping stuff. I would try to go with a different version if you can. Like Intex has a uh, blow up mattress, you know, that'll be great for you. Okay. So I just want to let you know about the the terrible stuff. And it doesn't come with any instructions. It doesn't show you what to do or how to do it or anything. I had to buy a bicycle pump to pump it out with. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. So, yeah, don't get it. It's insanity to even get it. And what I'm finding the largest case in United States history right now, this is what it's like. It's hard to get justice in the United States of America because a lot of the people, a lot of the police officers and sheriff's officers are human traffickers. And um, it's really scary living here because they're cannibals and they're turning people into apple sausages. Um, via three companies, Adele, Johnsonville's, and um, I forget the last, oh, Al Alfresco. And it's really scary living here in United States of America because it, literally the uh, richer people are eating people for money, and it's really scary. They're trafficking primarily the people of the United Pentecostal Church International and the Assemblies of Lord Jesus Christ and several other apostolic organizations, and I'm trying to get justice to stop all of it, but... It's very difficult because a lot of the police and sheriff's officers are the ones doing the trafficking. They're in charge of it. They're involved in it. They're the rapists, they're the serial killers, the murderers, and the thieves. It's very difficult. So, you know, if you live in another country, don't come to the United States of America. Please do not come here. The prices are high and it's very hard to live here. Unless you're a criminal, you ain't got to make it. And they have this Operation Underground Railroad thing. It was something I started a long time ago, and I'm sure you heard my song. Uh, rescue and these people are singing it and you know people singing it are mostly the traffickers child sex traffickers And they just pick some kids, you know to sing the song uh, Probably up there so they weren't trafficking and they got it very 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 undercover and they are demons from hell And they continue to do it guys and they're cannibals and they're monsters and they'll kill anybody for any good song They don't care So just pray for me as God give me justice some some way somehow in Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is the day the Lord has made, I want to say. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, amen.